Hello everyone, I'm Gohar Hazarian from the University of Bonn, Germany, and now I would like to present our study focusing on the use of different remote sensing based time series for yield estimation at different management scales. In general, timely monitoring of agricultural production and early yield predictions are essential for food security. This information can be used for yield gap analysis, for agricultural disaster monitoring, or for food security warnings. With the availability of remotely sensed time series at different scales, we can gather information from plot to regional level. For example, we can observe the crop growth at a field level, as shown with the NDVI time series based on Landsat. At the same time, we can have an aggregate over a county, uh, for example, with modest leaf area index time series. For this study, we tested different algorithms and several remotely sensed time series for estimation of maize and soy uh, yield in US. And we performed this analysis on two spatial scales that are particularly relevant for crop management at regional and field level. Now let's have a look at the data that we used in this study. For county level analysis, modest based surface reflectance, land surface temperature, evapotranspiration, and leaf area index time series were tested. For field level analysis, harmonized Landsat Sentinel-2 data and Landsat-8 uh, time series were used at 30 meter spatial resolution. In, er in order to generate label data, historical yield uh, time series were accessed at a county level based on USDA QuickSat database and at a field level uh, data collected by machinery were used. And as multiple observations per field were available, first they were aggregated at a 30 meter grid size and then uh, based on the imagery, the um, estimates uh, over large areas uh, were, uh, were created. So several um, algorithms were used, uh, such as uh, convolutional neural networks followed by long short-term memory, 3D convolutional neural networks, and as well random forest was used as a baseline algorithm. Uh, here you can see an example of one of the models um, and uh, basically the input for the model where the tensors generated from the earth engine based uh, pre-processing framework and the output was the predicted yield. Uh, the neural network starts with the 2D convolutional layer which is followed by batch normalization and max pooling layer. With the time distributed wrapper, the 2D convolutional layer is applied to every temporal slice for feature extraction. So the performance of different models varied when using different inputs uh, at both county and field level. For county level analysis, CNN LSTM model had the highest accuracy. Here you can see one of the examples uh, for maize when the target year was the 2016 and the model was trained based on the historical data from 2013 to 15. We can see quite a uh, low percentage error in main maize growing areas, as well as good agreement between predicted and actual yield. Uh, let's look at another year when the target year was 2012 and the model was trained based on the data from 2009 to 2011. Uh, here the error is slightly higher, but we have to take into account that 2012 was an exceptional drought year in this study area. Uh, for a field level analysis, um, mo the models uh, had similar performance and accuracies. And here we can see an example uh, for soybean uh, with the CNN LSTM model. The accuracies were high with the percentage error around four. Yeah, and at the field level, the special patterns of estimated yield could well capture the special heterogeneity and yield differences among individual fields. So in general, we could see the potential of using satellite data and historical yield observations for yield estimation. And as well as we could get accept yield uh, with acceptable accuracy some months before the harvest using the data from um, May uh, till August. And further studies uh, could use extended time series to improve the predictive power of models and also uh, the further study should focus on the year-to-year -year transferability of the model. Uh, thank you for your attention.